Hey everyone, John Roca for Collider here at New York Comic Con. Well, I just got out of the President's Show and Drunk History panel here. It was so much fun. If you want to see these people, we interviewed them earlier. Anthony and Tamanik, Peter Jost for the President's Show, and Derek Waters for Drunk History. Now, it was a two-hour panel, and Anthony Tamanik came out as Trump. Peter Jost came out as Pence. And then Sam Cedar, who is one of the producers on the show as well, he came out and he moderated the panel. It was really, really fun. Funny. They talked about everything. I thought they were just going to do jokes and just be playful, but they started talking about DACA and legal immigration and the Dreamers and all this stuff that Trump actually deals with in his real life. Anthony Tamanik, as Trump was answering these questions and improving along with Peter Joseph Pence all over the place for an hour. And it was really funny. They showed clips. They showed a compilation of stuff that had happened in the previous seasons with the President's show. And they had talked about what they're going to do to finish out the season as well. So there's going to be a lot of issues, a lot of, a lot of subjects they're going to tackle that Trump, you see him in his regular daily life as president, talk about they're going to get into as well. So it was a lot of fun. They did a great Q&A as well. A lot of great questions came up. People come up and ask them serious questions. There weren't like the regular questions of like, what do you enjoy? Or like, what got you into this no it was real questions about actual political issues it's something i've never experienced at a comic-con panel whether in la or new york it was actually a more serious uh uh questions that were asked but of course they were also answered in very comical ways very fun ways and some biting satire as well which was really great to see it shows you that it's not just a surface show it's a show that actually explores the the nuance of trump and what's going on between us as a country, watching a guy like that be president, and it, it's just fantastic stuff that they're doing. So it was a great, great uh, experience to see them doing that all out. And they actually, he actually fell off the stage at the end, as Trump might do, stumble off the stage, and Pence had to carry him over. And there was a lot of stuff with Pence as well, where he like kind of alluded to possibly being a homosexual, his issues with women, uh, his uh, love of Jesus. And there was a great moment where someone mentioned, asked him what he would do if he was impeached like what would go on in the show sam asked him what would happen if he was impeached and of course trump answered in this insane way or anthony tamman i guess trump answered this insane way and pence was behind him going like this so just great comedic moments all through the panel so i couldn't have recommended it enough so once again if you want to listen to me interview that or watch me interview anthony and peter you can find it on Collider Video. The other one was Drunk History. Some of you know Drunk History's been on for a long time. Funny or Die is where it started, went for a few years, and now it's in its fifth season here on Comedy, or on Comedy Central, and it was great. Derek Waters brought out his uh, co-creator for the show. He brought out three of the narrators, including Kaylee Nolan, who some of you may know from Garbage Time. She announced that she is officially on ESPN now, leaving Fox. She's on ESPN. Amber Ruffin was there, who some of you might know as well. He's done a bunch of late-night television. And Derek Connor was there as a comedian as well so they talked about their stuff how they narrated some of the drunk history stuff that was there and of course they talked about some of the actors and they gave a preview of what is going to go on for the fifth season there's a whole there was a whole montage and compilation of stuff they're going to they showed some hidden clips of stuff that was cut out deleted scenes from the show that they played there for them that the narrators themselves were asked if they remembered because they were so drunk while they were doing it and they played these, these clips were hilarious and Jack McBrayer did a fantastic job uh, working the panel and doing the panel for everyone. So a lot of great questions were asked there as well. And Derek talked about how he comes up with the process of picking the narrators for the show, how he comes up with the process of picking the actors and what historical stories they want to tell. And they actually showed us Derek's story, which was about uh, uh, the guy who created the JPL, who created JPL Laboratories. Uh, the name is, hold on, let me look. I'm going to look real quick on my notes. So I don't want to mess this up for you guys because I know you want the right information and get it correct. So here it is. It is De Duncan Trump. So he told the story of Jack Parsons. And Jack Parsons, who had done this weird stuff, got involved with L. Ron Hubbard, started the JPL, Carlos Rockets, all this stuff out of California. So just fantastic stuff. And that was brilliant. Just very, very funny. And got a nice taste of what this upcoming season is going to be all about. So it was a great time all around. A lot of stuff was revealed on, in both of those panels. But I think Drunk History is the one that I'm most excited for because it seems like he's even he's going to go even higher. And he's going to, he talked about uh, when, he, when we interviewed him, we talked 
talked about him breaking the rules of the show, and he's going to do that with an Unsolved Mysteries parody that he's going to do on Drunk History, where he's going to play Robert Stack. And actually, Katie Nolan is one of those people they're using to do the stories, uh, to stu- I mean, do the stories with. So it's going to be great uh, stuff. So if you want to do that, if you want to watch their shows, it's on Comedy Central. We stream the panels live on Collider, and of course, uh, you can watch those videos, as I said, of me interviewing uh, Anthony and Peter, and also interviewing Derek Waters. All right, thanks everybody. Uh, this is John Roca for Collider from New York Comic Con. Mm-hmm.